Seats taken care of, offering oil changes, auto mechanics, wheel alignments, and tire changing. If you need feed, they have their own horse mix and other Purina feeds, cow cake, vet supplies, and horse tack with delivery service available. And the Co-op C Store offers all the before and after game snacks for the whole deli, including pizza and chicken. The Eagle Butte Co-op, a proud sponsor of all Cheyenne Eagle Butte sports and activities. Are you searching for an epic career in the healthcare field? Look no further. You can get a practical nursing degree from Lake Area Technical College right here at Capital City Campus in Pierce, South Dakota. It's close to home, affordable, hands-on learning and relevant training, outstanding job placement with an excellent return on your investment, and one of the best nursing programs available in the region. For more information on how you can launch your healthcare career, go to lakeareatech.edu or capitalcitycampus.org. Farmers know crop insurance is essential for managing risk. It's also valuable for maximizing revenue. The crop insurance officers at Farm Credit Services of America have proprietary tools and expertise to deliver the personalized crop and revenue protection you need for the peace of mind you want. Nobody delivers crop insurance like this. Discover the difference by calling 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Loose, Lucy and Rec Funeral Homes are your family-owned businesses ready to help you in your time of need. With businesses in Gettysburg, Falkton, Miller, Highmore, and they service Cheyenne River Reservation. Mandy and Tiffany are there to answer any questions and help you along. Loose, Lucy and Rec Funeral Homes proudly support all local sports and activities. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. Agriculture is like no other business, which makes Farm Credit Services of America like no other lender. Owned by the farmers and ranchers we serve, our customers have a voice in how we work, a stake in what we do, and share in our success. Discover a lender that works for you at Farm Credit Services of America. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you.
Testing one, two, testing one, two. Welcome to JV coverage of Shining Gate versus McLaughlin Mustangs. That was Lenny Anderson hitting a three-pointer for Shining Butte. They're up early 5-0. I don't have the full roster, so we'll go with the players that we see on the court as long as their numbers match the program. With the ball now are the Mustangs out on top to number 33, who's not in the book. Over to Bordeaux. Actually, this is the opposite side, so that was Weasel with the ball. And then Weasel with the shot, air ball. Anderson there to clear up the rebound. Knife coming down for Shiny Gabut. Jalen Knife out on top, number 15. Braves in the home white. Anderson fires another three. This one's a little strong. And caught underneath the hoop by number 41, Effie Gilbert. Ball stolen by the Braves, number four. I believe that is Isis Norris still in that ball. And there's going to be an over back call. Um, pass made to Knife, uh, who was in the backcourt. And as she crossed over, that was a turnover for the Braves. Again, officials for tonight's game, uh, the JV and the varsity, will be Mark Logan, Dan Lusk, RJ Estes. And again, this is the first home game of the new year for the Shining Gabe Braves. Uh, Braves did play in the Lakota Nation Invitational. Uh, girls varsity team came away with a victory against Marty in day four. Again, it's kind of been an uphill battle for the Braves, but yet we continue to see the improvement in the team. And currently on the court are the JV players. Some of these players will play up into the varsity level as well. So here we are in the first quarter, shining a beat up 5-0 in the first quarter, 4.52 on the clock. Possession will belong to the Mustangs. With the ball on top is Weasel. Getting over to Steele, cross court, opposite side, Crow Ghost. Baseline, Weasel, her shot is a little strong. There with the rebound and a put back is number 41, Gilbert. Gilbert, a six foot forward center, getting that rebound. Pass to Anderson, nearly picked off, controlled by Knife, and then finally stolen. And coming away with that are the Mustangs on the opposite end, number 32. And she's going to have the ball stolen by uh, Buffalo Halfred. And she turns the ball over out of bounds. And with that, two new Braves check in, number 14 and number 32. Mendoza and number 32 is Bordeaux. Weasel inbounds the ball. Oh, no, actually, she's out on top now, working against Buffalo Halfred. Bounce pass over to Steele, back out on top, three-pointer on the way, and that's going to be an air ball. And a steal by Weasel, and she's going to get fouled, going up for two. Foul will go against number 32 of the Braves, and that is Bordeaux of Shining Butte. At the line, uh, we're going to see Weasel, she's a 5'2 guard, sophomore. 4 6 again here in the first quarter. Free throw is on the way, and that will rattle in for a free throw. Cuts the lead down to two. It is three to five early on. So again, we got Bardo, Mendoza, Moran, Knife, and Buffalo Halfred for Shining to be out on the court. Weasel second free throw is good. It's a one-point ball game. Ball inbounded to Buffalo Halfred and trapped near midcourt, and it's going to be a Pushing foul going against the Mustangs and picking up that personal will be Crow Ghost. Moran set to inbound the ball. Over to Bardo. Bardo out top to Buffalo Half Red. She has a runner on the way. And that may have just clipped the bottom of the rim. If not, that was another air ball. And we've seen like four of those so far. So a little rustiness coming off here after school break for the. Um, Christmas break. So both these teams finally getting back on the court. Out on top of the Mustangs, and that's Weasel fighting their way to the ball. And that one comes off the side of the backboard over to Buffalo Halford. Crossing midcourt now are the Braves down to Tommy Moran. Moran looking inside, drives the lane, kicks it, stolen. Ball is stolen by Steele. She has a breakaway layup, too strong. Board cleared up by Moran. And she was fouled by Effie Gilbert. 
Now keep in mind if some of these are duplicate numbers and I might be announcing the wrong person for the McLaughlin Mustangs as they're playing both varsity and JV sometimes um, and when they do that again you could have duplicate numbers. Knife inbounds to Buffalo Halfred over to Moran crossing midcourt right side. She has the ball stripped going the opposite way is number 22 Brown Otter. Brown Otter loses the handle and her shot's no good. Strong rebound but stolen and there with a the put back is number 32 that is Sandy Steele, a 5-6 forward. Mustangs take the lead on that bucket. Now with the ball, Tommy Moran firing a three-pointer. In and out, no good. Mendoza gets the rebound. Bounce pass baseline is stolen. And Mustangs now come down court. Steele now right wing. Back out on top to Weasel. With the ball is Brown Otter, opposite side. Weasel firing a three-pointer, and that's another air ball. That's three for three in air balls from Weasel. And now with the ball is Buffalo Halfred. Braves trailing by one with 2.30 on the clock here first quarter. Knife looking inside. Oh, well, wide open Mendoza doesn't get the ball, though. Knife firing a three-pointer, no good. Mendoza tipping it, getting the board, and she fires a fadeaway. That's no good. And coming out of there with the ball will be number 22, Brown Otter and fighting its way into the hands of Weasel. Weasel drives the lane and shot blocked by Mendoza. And a spin move and there's one off the glass, no good. And Bardot with a good rebound, getting over to Buffalo Halfred. Mariah pushing the ball now, set in the middle of the offense for Shining Butte. Winked to Tommy Moran. Moran thinking about a three-pointer, decides against it. Left wing over to Knife. Knife pump fakes, drives the lane. Backdoor pass, Knife to Mendoza. Nice looking pass, great assist there by Knife. Mendoza with the easy bucket. Braves back up on top by seven to six score. Weasel out on top, goes left side. And with the ball, Brown on her opposite side. Weasel finds her way down to the corner. Weasel's gotta be the shooter. She's shooting everything and there's a scoop shot. No good, Knife cleaning up the board. Uh, Weasel actually kind of looks a little gassed at this point, but coming down now is Knife. Knife drives the lane. Her runner's way too strong. Board cleared up by Brown Otter, and her pass going by Tommy Moran. Right wing over to Knife, just inside the three-point range. No good is Knife. Scramble for the ball, and coming away with it is Steele. Steele down the right side, going up against Tommy Moran, and uh, there will be a two-shot fall committed by Tommy Moran. And getting a trip to the line, we're going to see number 32, of the Mustangs, and again, that is Sandy Steele. Brave set with some substitutions, as is the Mustangs. Um, I see Jewel Twite over there as well, and I believe that is Isis Norse. And I think this is one of the numbers I do not have, is a number 34 um, gonna be coming in for the Mustangs. Steele's free throw is good. We've got a tie ball game. Actually checking into the game will be Hunter Krogos, the 5-5 guard. And we have Weasel at the line to shoot the second free throw. Again, Weasel's kind of been all over the court here for the Mustangs. And I believe she's done most of that scoring that's on the board right now. Second free throw is good. Actually, I apologize, that is Sandy Steele with the free throw. Knife coming down, setting the offense. Drives the lane, her runner's way strong. Gets her own rebound, her putback's no good, but she's gonna be fouled. Very aggressive move there by Jalen Knife, and she earns a trip to the free throw line. Picking up that personal will be number 32, Sandy Steele. Her first personal, third, uh, actually second, third team foul against the McLaughlin Mustangs. Forty-two seconds here in the first quarter. Braves trailing by one at the line. Jalen Knife to shoot two. First shot is no good. Braves JV team is coached by Katie Morgan. Uh, earlier to, than uh, earlier, the game was the C team, and they fell to McLaughlin by a point, twenty-one to twenty. 
So with the free throw there by ninth, we've got a tie ball game with under 40 seconds on the clock in the first quarter. Mustang Brown Otter with the ball. Uh, Brown Otter looking for some help down the corner and Steele with the three pointer short. But the rebound is Bordeaux. Over to Knife. Knife now crossing midcourt, 20 seconds. Knife inside pass uh, to Jewel Twite. Back out to Knife. Inside to Mendoza. Fade away shot again. That one's going to be good. Uh, so that'll give the Braves a two point lead with seven seconds. We should see a long three pointer here. Three, two. There's a three pointer, and it's no good. So at the end of the first quarter, Shining Butte 10, McLaughlin 8. Again, Braves versus Mustang JV action. guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. That moment when you realize your furnace is stone cold busted. We're talking a real put on every sweater you own, I can't feel my feet, penguin predicament. But fear not, there's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Pites Service Experts keep you warm with $50 off any furnace repair. Like it toasty? There's an expert for that. Call Pites. Return in action now, second quarter, Braves up by two. Mustangs just moving the ball around the exterior. Finally, Weasel drives and her pass is bounced away. Struggle for the ball and Mendoza comes away with that. A little hot potato and finds its way into the hands of Knife. Knife drives the lane and can get fouled again. Putting another trip to the line. And I believe that foul might go against number 22, Brown Otter. Actually, no, 32. So that's another foul on number 32, Sandy Steele, her second personal, fourth team foul. Again at the line, we'll see number 15, Jalen Knife, a 5'9 sophomore. And that free throw is a little strong off to the right. Second free throw is good by Knife. Shooting at 50% clip. She made two, missed two in her two trips to the line. At the line now, out coming across midcourt is Weasel. Weasel goes left. Over to Brown Otter. Back out on top to Steele. Opposite side to Weasel. And Weasel finally hits a three pointer. And that'll tie the ball game 11 11. So Weasel, Weasel one for four from three point range, but that one ties the ball game. So still uh, very much a good ball game ongoing. Knife again coming down and firing and hitting two points. And so Knife now with four points in the ball game gives the Braves another two point lead. We've got Anderson and Buffalo Halfred set to check in for the Braves. And in for Sandy Steele set to check in for the Mustangs. With the ball is Krogo. She fires and no good. Tip for the ball and that is Bordeaux with a pass. And Knife has it stolen and Knife gets a rebound. And she's going to be clobbered in the braid behind the head. Uh, that fall will go against the Mustangs number 30, Crow Ghost. 15 fall on the Mustangs. And checking in again is Anderson and Buffalo Halfred. And number 32 for the Mustangs, Steele. Jewel Twite and Bordeaux take a seat. Anderson's pass is picked off, and the shot up, and good. Uh, Krogos with the steal and the three-pointer, and that'll give the Mustangs a one-point lead. 14-13. Jalen Knife crossing, being triple team, getting over Norris. Norris's backdoor pass is no good, but she will be fouled, and 
16 foul going against the Mustangs. Next one will put the Braves in a bonus. We've got Tommy Moran set to come back in. We've got her leg bandaged up. Might have been a skid mark on the floor or something, but her leg is bandaged. Buffalo half red firing just inside the three point line. No good. Board cleared up, and there's going to be a foul committed by Jalen Knife. Uh, hitting the deck kind of hard is number 32, Steele. 522 on the clock. Braves still trail by one after the three-pointer by Crow Ghost. Mustangs on the attack. Weasel coming down. Weasel's going to go pass and then she'll go up. There's a turnover there committed by number 32, Steele. And Braves will get the ball back. A little bit of pressure here by the Mustangs. And Moran looking for the ball over the top to knife and she's going to have it stripped but she gets complete control of the ball and now Moran comes down driving the lane she puts her runner up that's going to be good nice looking baseline runner there by Tommy Moran for two points Braves back up by one Weasel now crossing midcourt looking left side getting it over to Krogos back out on top Weasel coming down to the corner but this time there's a three pointer by Steele and that rebound is cleared up by Steele oh no actually knife Anderson now pushing down very hard and she's going to lose her footing um, but controls the ball back to knife. Outside is Buffalo half with three pointers up, a little strong. Board cleared by knife. Opposite side to uh, that's going to be a double dribble going against Tommy Moran. Took one dribble back, stop, pump faked, and dribbled one more time towards the basket. Turnover Braves. Four twenty nine second quarter. Again, this is. Uh, Go Braves dot live. You're tuned into streaming here of Shining Butte. Mustangs versus the Braves here at home. There's a wild shot put up, and that sucker drops. So that shot does drop for number 32, Sandy Steele, with a strong bank shot from the free throw line, and that puts the Mustangs back up by one. And with the ball now is Anderson down to the corner, Buffalo half it, controlling the ball opposite side to Norse. Moran drives opposite side back to Anderson. Again, just working around the outside, and Buffalo Halfwood fires, and that's going to be good. Still kind of trading the leads here with uh, good shooting on both ends. And with 346, Braves are back up by one. Crossing midcourt now, Sandy Steele, three pointer on the way. And there's another good shot there by number 33, Weasel. Weasel's now two for five when she started out 0 for three. Gonna get warmed up from that three point range. Buffalo half red down to Moran. Moran drives baseline. Bounce pass inside to Anderson. Anderson not able to make the shot. Rebound comes off to and tipped out of bounds by the Mustangs. Good pressure there by Knife under the basket. Oh, again, they adjusted the call. Ball will belong to the Mustangs. Mustangs with possession and also with a two point lead. And there's another three-pointer. That one's a little strong. Board topped around. Good hustle there by number 32. Steele back out on top. Shot is on the way. No good. Board cleared up by uh, Knife. Quickly to Moran down to Buffalo Halfred. And that's going to be tipped out by Weasel. So three minutes on the clock. Second quarter. Braves trailing by two. North setting inbound the ball. Um, Buffalo half red inside, throws that one away. Weasel down the court, getting it over to Krogos. Her runner is good. 21 to 17. Jalen Knife crossing mid court for Shining Butte. There's a reach and tip away. And quickly down comes Krogos again. This time her shot is good again. Same result. And there's a timeout by the coach from Shining Butte. Braves trail by 6, 23 to 17 after the two layups from Crow Ghost.
We're about ready to return to action here. Again, cheerleaders for Shannon Goot include Alicia Adams, Santana Feather Earring, August King, Jess Lawrence, Jeffrey Walters, and Samara Yazi. One thing to note, the assistant coach for the Mustangs, Ronnie Leaf, she is a former Shining Butte basketball player. And she is uh, assistant coach to Michael Scareshawk from McLaughlin. Braves has possession of the ball and there's some pressure here going to be put on by the Mustangs. Maya crossing midcourt. Over to Tommy Moran. Baseline to Mendoza. Her scoop shot is not anywhere near close, but there's a putback and a foul. And that is Jalen Knife again uh, being real active on the boards, uh, getting the loose ball and putting that back up, and she was fouled. Foul will go against number 15 of McGraw, actually number 32. Sandy Steele, her fourth personal, seventh team foul. Knife at the line, and... Missing the first of two free throws. Second free throw is no good. Board cleared by Steele. Steele crossing midcourt over to Hunter Krogost, and that's going to be a turnover. Still six point lead, 17 23, 2 13 here in the second quarter. Bordeaux set to inbound the ball. Buffalo Hafford now working against the defense. Crossing midcourt over the top to Tommy Moran. Moran backdoor pass is tipped away and stolen by the Mustangs. And that is Steele. She's going to be bumped by Bordeaux in the backcourt. That'll be the fourth team foul, so that is not the bonus. That'll be taken off on the side. Into the game for the Braves, where you can see number 30, Johnny uses many. Two minutes on the clock. Again, Braves trailing. Weasel. Trying to delay, and she's going to be blocked. So Mendoza, she stands six foot. And Weasel is 5'2", and she comes in there. And she draws a foul, earns a trip to the line, so she's going to get a pair. That free throw is no good. Minute 54, 17-23. Second free throw is good, up to a seven-point lead now. Buffalo half right crossing midcourt. Backdoor pass to Mendoza. Mendoza thrown it away and stripped and stolen by the Mustangs. And coming down now is Weasel. If you contain Weasel, I think you can contain the ball game. And uses many with the steal. She comes down the left hand. Spin move. Spinner is no good. Rebound cleared up by Knife. Mendoza with the put back, no good. Rebound off to the Mustangs. Jalen Knife's been hitting that board pretty good. She's got about eight rebounds. Three-pointer up by Crow Ghost and hits nothing but the floor. Air ball. So possession will go back to the Braves. End of the game is number 44, and her name is Cher LaCroix, or LeClaire. Cher, Sherry LeClaire, LeClaire. Knife out on top, over to use as many. She fires, and no good. Tip for the ball, and coming away with that again. That's got to be Weasel. She's going to call for traveling. Would have been a good pass had she not turned it over. Seven point in ball game. Ball inbound to Bardot and her shot's no good. Board cleared up by the Mustangs. Johnny uses many with the steal. Her shot no good. And there's a pass down court and Hunter Krogost. Her layup is good. Six points for Krogost on those layups. 
So that takes it up to a nine point lead with 35 seconds on the clock. Johnny uses many, loses the handle. Krogos with the steal. Mustang's on the attack now. Krogos kind of looking like she wants to drive but decides against it. Over to Weasel. Weasel drives the lane, pulls back out. 16 seconds, three pointer on the way by Steele. That misses everything. Rebound by the Mustangs. And ball finds its way back to Steele over to Krogos. Her shot's no good. And there's Bardot with the rebound. Doesn't see a wide open Buffalo Alfred. And that'll end the half. Shining to beat Brave 17, Mustangs 26. Big output by Krogos towards the middle of the second quarter gives the Mustangs that lead and we'll take a break here and bring you back to second half coverage of the JV action. Just experts at 866 Experts. See website for license details. The State Bank of Eagle Butte would like to wish all students of all schools a successful year of school and good luck on all future endeavors. May this year be the best year ever. High school activities teach our young people many of the skills they will need later in adult life. Good luck once again and wishing you the best for this school year. Thank you from all the employees here at the State Bank of Eagle View, where we are big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. CRST Telephone Authority is proud to be your local broadband provider. They provide internet, telephone, and television service. And as a customer, you may be eligible for discounted services through the Enhanced Tribal Lifetime Program or the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program. For more information about services or discounts on your service, call 964-2600. CRST Telephone Authority, proud to support athletes and students at Cheyenne Eagle Butte. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. The Eagle Butte Co-op invites you to stop by their new hardware store to find a wall in Milwaukee power tool lines, paint and painting products, bolts, hardware, and more. Their auto shop has your automotive needs taken care of, offering oil changes, auto mechanics, wheel alignments, and tire changing. If you need feed, they have their own horse mix and other Purina feeds, cow cake, vet supplies, and horse tack with delivery service available. And the Co-op C store offers all the before and after game snacks with a whole deli including pizza and chicken. The Eagle Butte Co-op, a proud sponsor of all Cheyenne Eagle Butte sports and activities. Are you searching for an epic career in the healthcare field? Look no further. You can get a practical nursing degree from Lake Area Technical College right here at Capital City Campus in Pierce, South Dakota. It's close to home, affordable, hands-on learning and relevant training, outstanding job placement with an excellent return on your investment and one of the best nursing programs available in the region. For more information on how you can launch your healthcare career, Go to lakeareatech.edu or capitalcitycampus.org. Farmers know crop insurance is essential for managing risk. It's also valuable for maximizing revenue. The crop insurance officers at Farm Credit Services of America have proprietary tools and expertise to deliver the personalized crop and revenue protection you need for the peace of mind you want. Nobody delivers crop insurance like this. Discover the difference by calling 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Loose, Lucy and Rec Funeral Homes are your family-owned businesses ready to help you in your time of need. With businesses in Gettysburg, Falkton, Miller, Highmore, and they service Cheyenne River Reservation. Mandy and Tiffany are there to answer any questions and help you along. Loose, Luzi and Rec Funeral Homes proudly support all local sports and activities. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life 
with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. Agriculture is like no other business, which makes Farm Credit Services of America like no other lender. Owned by the farmers and ranchers we serve, our customers have a voice in how we work, a stake in what we do, and share in our success. Discover a lender that works for you at Farm Credit Services of America. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business organization or family by supporting the live productions of your school. That moment when you realize your furnace is stone cold busted. We're talking a real put on every sweater you own, I can't feel my feet, penguin predicament. But fear not, there's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Pites Service Experts keep you warm with $50 off any furnace repair. Like it toasty? There's an expert for that. Call Pites Service Experts at 866-EXPERTS. See website for license details. The State Bank of Eagle Butte would like to wish all students of all schools a successful year of school and good luck on all future endeavors. May this year be the best year ever. High school activities teach our young people many of the skills they will need later in adult life. Good luck once again and wishing you the best for this school year. Thank you from all the employees here at the State Bank of Eagle Butte, where we are big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. CRST Telephone Authority is proud to be your local broadband provider. They provide internet, telephone, and television service. And as a customer, you may be eligible for discounted services through the Enhanced Tribal Lifetime Program or the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program. For more information about services or discounts on your service, call 964-2600. CRST Telephone Authority, proud to support athletes and students at Cheyenne Eagle Butte. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. 
The Eagle Butte Co-op invites you to stop by their new hardware store to find a wall in Milwaukee power tool lines, paint and painting products, bolts, hardware, and more. Their auto shop has your automotive needs taken care of, offering oil changes, auto mechanics, wheel alignments, and tire changing. If you need feed, they have their own horse mix and other Purina feeds, cow cake, vet supplies, and horse tack with delivery service available. And the Co-op C store offers all the before and after game snacks for the whole deli, including pizza and chicken. The Eagle Butte Co-op, a proud sponsor of all Cheyenne Eagle Butte sports and activities. Are you searching for an epic career in the healthcare field? Look no further. You can get a practical nursing degree from Lake Area Technical College right here at Capital City Campus in Pierce, South Dakota. It's close to home, affordable, hands-on learning and relevant training, outstanding job placement with an excellent return on your Welcome back to the second half here, Shining Butte versus the Mustangs. Pretty close game throughout the first half with the exception of the last three minutes. Um, Mustangs able to get some easy baskets uh, based off the hustle of Weasel, Steel, and Ghost. One uh, thing to note again is Steel does have four fouls in the ball game. Possession arrow belonging to the Braves, they trail by nine. Anderson over to Knife, Knife firing, and that's going to be short, rebound by Norse, her shot's no good, and that ball will be tipped out by Knife, and possession will belong to the Mustangs. Resetting for you the Braves, we have Norse, Moran, Buffalo Half Red, Knife, and Anderson. Out on top now is Steele, getting over to Krogos, Krogos looking for somewhere. And that is Effie Gilbert. Her shot no good, but a put back there by Steele. And that is up to 11 point lead now. Moran crossing midcourt for Shining Butte. Going down the lane. And she's going to be fouled. I believe that foul is going to go against Effie Gilbert. A six foot forward center. It's kind of misleading from up here how tall she is. If you go down on the court and see some of the players standing next to her, like Buffalo Alfred, you realize she is six foot. And that is pretty tall for a uh, girl at the JV level. And at the line now, we're looking at Tommy Moran to shoot a pair. And that is a little strong. Moran is a 5'6 sophomore guard. Second free throw is a little bit strong, controlled by Gilbert of the Mustangs. Weasel crossing midcourt. Over to Krogos. Krogos moving people around here, setting the offense. Left side to steal. On top to Gilbert. Back door, nowhere to go. And that is Krogos with the turnover. Gilbert found Krogos wide open underneath, but she didn't want to do the reverse lay layup, and she kicked it out, and the pass was too strong. Braves now in position, Buffalo Halfred. Left wing, Moran's three-pointer is up, a little strong. Board cleared up by Steele. Steele quickly down the left lane, then drives back to the middle. Bounce pass over to Krogos, back to Weasel. Krogos gets possession back, left wing. Steele drives the lane, puts up a runner, strong air ball, nothing but glass, and Knife coming away with that, and she's pushing the ball down the court. Anderson, and her shot is an air ball on the opposite side, and that is Moran, her shot rattles in. So Braves get it back down to a nine point lead, 19 to 28. Good, good effort there by Knife to push the ball and get some uh, mismatches underneath the basket for the Braves. Mustangs cross court pass is tipped and stolen by Moran. Knife dribbling down for Shining Butte. Sets up at the three point line and fires and misses and rebound control by Anderson. <laughs> Anderson's going to be fouled. And again, Anderson there standing against uh, Gilbert. You'll see the size difference. Anderson's got the big job of guarding Gilbert. And Lenny Anderson is a 5 5, so she gives up a good seven inches to Gilbert. And on that trip, she's earned a couple of free throws, and that's the third personal on Gilbert. <laughs> so 
first free throw is no good. Coming back into the game, we're going to see Steele and number 22, who is Brown Otter. There are actually two Brown Otters out, out there, Laney and Jesse. Second free throw is tipped around and finally controlled by Knife. Knife over to Anderson. Anderson not able to handle the pass. And that is Weasel going down the opposite way for an easy layup. Back up to 11 point lead, 30 to 19. Buffalo half right across midcourt. Over to Anderson. Anderson back out on top. And she throws another one away. Weasel gets it down over to Krogos, but Anderson coming away with the loose ball. Anderson now trapped, and there's going to be a foul by number 30. And that is Krogos picking up the personal. Krogos third personal. Substitution coming into the game. We're going to see Bordeaux and Mendoza taking the seat. will be Anderson and Norse. Buffalo half red crossing midcourt. She fires a three-pointer, and that's a bank shot from three-point range. Anyway, you count it, it's still three points. Braves cut the lead down to eight, 22 to 30. Out on top is Krogo. She drives inside the three-point line. Her shot's no good. Board off to Steele. Steele's putback is no good, and that is Buffalo half red now pushing the ball for Shining Butte. Over to Mendoza. Mendoza with an easy basket thanks to Buffalo Halfred. Good teamwork there, an assist and a bucket. Lead is down to six, 24 to 30. Weasel out on top. Over to Krogos. Brown Otter cross court to Weasel. Weasel's three pointer is up and no good. Ball tipped and controlled by Brown Otter. Setting the offense now is Weasel. She goes left side back to. Crow Ghost. Weasel gets the ball, fakes a three, and drives up, decides against going against Mendoza. And throws it back on her top. And there's Tommy Moran hustling with the steal. Moran goes up for the layup, and it's going to be short. And that is Buffalo Alfred with the putback. A little bit of hustle has gotten the Braves right back into this one. It's 26 to 30. It was an 11-point lead just a second ago, or a few seconds ago. And now it's down to a four-point lead. Steele inside, her ball is tipped and finds its way to Brown Otter. Brown Otter is going to get Cloudy chopped across the top of the head by knife. And that fall will be the first team foul going against the Braves, I believe. We've got a couple of substitutions. That's the second personal on knife. And coming in is Twite and uses many. Moran and knife are going to take a seat. 249. Ball inbounded, shot is up and good by number 32, Steele. Back up to a six point lead. Buffalo half red. Nice screen there, shot is up. In and out, no good. Ball tipped and controlled by Uses Many. Another three pointer on the way by Buffalo half red, no good. And that is Mendoza losing the handle and it will belong to the Braves. 224 again, six point lead for the Mustangs. Bardo opposite side, he uses many. Her shot's no good. And Bardo with another rebound opposite side. Three pointer on the way. That's going to be an air ball controlled by Mendoza. Mendoza on top. Another three pointer on the way. She's not afraid to pull a trigger. That's four, 0 for 4. And quickly down is a bad pass that's going to go out of bounds. And that is Steele with the turnover for the Mustangs. And with two minutes, the Braves can work to um, eat into the six-point lead. Buffalo half right out on top. Bardot drives the lane, dishes over Twight. Twight is blocked. Buffalo, or actually that's Bardot, up back out to Mendoza. And controller is used as many, and she fires, and that's in and out, no good. Board cleared up by number 21, Tatum Spotted Horse. And now finding its way into Weasel's hand. Spotted Horse opposite side to steal. And ball stolen by Buffalo Alfred. 
She's going to have a breakaway here, and does she finish? Yes, she does. Back down to a four-point lead, 28-32. Minute 10 on the clock, and Braves got it back down to four. We're going to have a timeout here by the coach of the Mustangs, Leaf. And with that, again, we are at the 112 mark of the third quarter. Braves trailing by four. Return of the game are Knife and Moran. Weasel out on top. Opposite side, move their own ball around the outside. New to the game, firing that three pointer just inside the three point line is number 30. Destiny Medicine Crow, senior, hitting a two pointer back up to a six point lead. Moran out on top, she fires a three pointer and that's in and out, no good. Gets the long rebound inside to Mendoza. Mendoza right point blank. Um, <laughs> that's called a reverse dunk there without getting to the rim. And that is Knife looking for Mendoza, not able to find her. And that foul is going to go against number 15, Jalen Knife. I believe that would be the third personal against the Knife. 34 seconds on the clock. Again, Braves trailing by six. And stepping over the line is Steele, so that's a turnover, unforced error. Works in the Braves' favor. Knife set to inbound. Mendoza with the ball, firing another fadeaway, and then another one. Back to a four point lead with 25 seconds on the clock. Mustangs up and they have possession. Weasel out on top. Mendoza comes out to, uh, Moran comes out to meet her. Moran looking for the steal, 15 seconds. Uh, now, Medicine Crow back out on top. Steal down the corner. Back out on top to Weasel. Weasel looking for somewhere to go and she's just gonna ride this out without a shot. So good defense by the Braves there, not allowing a shot. It is still a four-point ball game for the Cheyenne Nigga Buttes to play a little catch-up here. They did a pretty good job because they were down by 11. They cut seven points away from that uh, deficit. And so that'll take us into the fourth quarter here shortly. Again, Braves JV game trailing the Mustangs of McLaughlin 30-34. to Possession arrow will belong to the Mustangs. Weasel out on top over to Medicine. Medicine Crow, or no, Medicine, yeah, Medicine Crow. Braves with the steal. Moran crossing midcourt. A lot of pressure there by Crow Ghost. There's Knife with a shot, and no good. Tipping the ball around and pulling the rebound is Jules Twite. There to Bardot. Bardot's runner is good. Assist to Knife. 
Bardo with the bucket. It's down to a two-point lead. We haven't heard from Weasel for a while. Let's see if she can get on track here in the fourth quarter. Again, Braves have done a good job on the defensive end, limiting the opportunities of the Mustangs. And again, a big part of that, I think, has been Knife, as well as Buffalo Halfred, who's currently on the bench, and Moran. Long three-pointer up, and no good. Board cleared up by Knife. Six minutes to go, trailing by two. Braves on the attack. Jalen Knife being guarded by Krogos. Over to Jules White, back to Moran. Moran's shot is strong. Board cleared up and tipped around and controlled by Mendoza. Mendoza, cross-court pass, ill-advised, uh, and goes off the head of Knife, I think. And that will belong to the Mustang. And Buffalo Halfred set the check back in for Cheyenne Butte. Again, Bordeaux, Mendoza, Knife, Moran, and Buffalo Halfred. You got Medicine Crow, Weasel, Steel. Oh, well, there's a steal there by Knife. Brown Otters on there, as well as number 40, uh, Destiny Medicine Crow. And with the ball now, the Braves looking to tie the ball game. Three pointer is up, no good. Rebound controlled by Bordeaux, and she's going to get the bucket and the foul. Picking up the first one will be number 40, Destiny Medicine Cool, 5'7", forward center for McLaughlin. And at the 5'18 mark of the fourth quarter, we've got a tie ball game. At the line, we're going to see um, Bordeaux. Makaya Bordeaux, a, it says 4'5 here, but it's probably 5'4". Her first free throw is a little strong, and that should be it. She made the basket, and that is a double dribble. She made the basket, got her own rebound, and everybody thought there was two free throws, so that's a turnover on Bordeaux. Uh, we do have a tie ball game. We've got Norse back into the game, as well as Anderson. Six players on the court right now. Here comes Weasel. you got to keep an eye on her now. Left side, back to Weasel. Crow Ghost. Over to Steele. Medicine Crow, her shot is up. A little strong, board by um, Bardot. Bardot over to Anderson. Anderson controlling back on top to Buffalo Halfred. Buffalo Halfred, opposite side to Norris. Norris, three-pointer up. Nothing but the top of the backboard on that shot. Rebound off to the Mustangs, and down with the ball is Hunter Crow Ghost. In and out, no good. Uh, Medicine Crow with the rebound. Up to Weasel. Weasel drives, spins, fires. Tough shot. And Medicine Crow tips and saves the ball. And that is Steele. Her shot is short. Norris didn't grab that rebound right in front of her. But Mendoza able to control it. Anderson now looking to score. Goes up and she is going to get a trip to the line. Blocking foul goes against Weasel of the Mustangs. And at the line, we're going to see Lenny Anderson, a junior, at 5'5". And at 420, we are all tied up at 34-34. That'll be the fourth foul on number 32, Steele. Actually, I thought that was Weasel, but uh, foul went against Steele. Anderson's free throw is no good. Rattles off to the left. Lenny's second free throw is no good. Board cleared up by Bardot. Back out, Mariah Halfred Buffalo. No good. Rebound, Medicine Crow. And that will be Buffalo Halfred picking up the personal. That would be the fourth team fall on Shining Butte. And McLaughlin has five. So pretty even in the fall column. And again, it's shaping up to be a pretty good ball game here down to the wire. Again, four minutes on the clock yet here in the fourth quarter. Weasel down to, actually I know what my problem has been. We've got two number 32s out here. There's a three-pointer on the way, too strong. And that's going to be tipped and controlled by Anderson. Anderson now coming away with the ball and the scoop pass. Finds its way to Mendoza. Mendoza to Bordeaux, to Norris, to the basket, in and out. Bordeaux with the putback, and that's going to be good. 
I don't know if that was rehearsed or not, but it looked pretty good because there was a lot of ball movement. But Braves have the lead, 36-34. Number 32, and Mendoza with a nice steal. Bordeaux coming away with that. Bordeaux down to Mendoza. Mendoza's runner is too strong. And that foul is going to go against Weasel, number 33. So again, uh, I do have a duplicate number here, number 32. And I do not have the JV team name, so the number 32 in the ball game right now, I believe, is wearing a varsity jersey. And that wasn't the number 32 that's been in the game. Number 32 that's been in the game comes back in, so we've got uh, 132 out and 132 in. Mendoza's second free throw is there for Shiny B. Braves up by three with 3.26 on the clock. Steele now coming down the right side. She fires just inside the three-point line. Board cleared up by Bardot. Bardot down to Buffalo Halfred. Buffalo Halfred spin move. Shot is up and no good. Knife with the putback and no good. Gets second attempt and there's going to be a tie-up and a jump ball. Possession arrow will belong to the Braves with 3.08 on the board. Knife set to inbound. Knife to Bardot. Bardot mishandles the pass. And quickly down the court comes Krogost. Krogost moves to the outside. And set to look to fire. Kind of close a lot of defense. And that's in and out. And board cleared up and stolen by Tommy Moran. Moran decides to push now. And she loses the handle. And that is going to be a carry call going against the sophomore from Shining Butte. Braves still have a three-point lead with 247 here in the fourth quarter. Number 30 out on top, left side, steal. Kogos looking to drive the lane, throws up a wild shot in and out. And coming away with the loose ball will be number 32. I believe that is steal, or the person I've been calling steal all this time. Uh, so my apologies if it's the wrong person. And there's a shot by 22 on the way. In and out, no good. Mendoza with another rebound. Mendoza decides to push, and she pulls up. Fade away shot, no good. Board off to number 22. There to steal it is Knife. Knife fires a three-pointer. No good, strong to the opposite side. Cleaning that up is Destiny Medicine Crow. And then we're gonna have a timeout here, 30-second timeout by Coach Leaf of the Mustangs. Braves up 37 to 34. Possession belonging to the Mustangs. Again, they trail by three. Interior pass made and losing the handle will be number 22, but the foul will go against the Braves. And I believe that foul will go against Bordeaux. Fourth team foul on uh, the Braves, fourth foul on Bordeaux. Three-pointer on the way, and that's in and out. Bordeaux with the rebound. Get it over to Moran. Moran crossing mid-court, opposite side. Another three-pointer on the way by Buffalo Alfred. That one was halfway down. Sky, not quite the sky hook, but scoop. No good by Mendoza. Opposite way with the runner, no good. Knife cleaning up the board. Knife has got to have cleared 10 boards by now. She's going to be fouled and sending her to the line for the bonus. Minute 18, Braves are going to get a chance here to add a few more points. Yeah. 
That foul went against number 30, Crow Ghost. So at the line, we're going to see Jalen Knife. Again, Knife, excellent job on the boards tonight. Jalen Knife, a 5'9", guard forward. She's a sophomore. Second free throw is no good, and we're going to have a violation here. Going to get to shoot again. Number 22, the Mustangs, into the lane too quick. This is a bonus, so she will get another one if she makes this one. And she does, and that'll push the lead up to four points. Set for her second free throw. And that one's going to rattle around no good. Bordeaux hustling for the board and controls it. And nearly having it stripped. Number 32, Steele, with the near steal, but taps it out of bounds. Knife set to inbound. Throws it into Buffalo Half. Another three pointer on the way. In and out, no good. Knife tips it over to Mendoza. Mendoza throws the ball out of bounds. So it's a four point lead with a minute six. That's a two possession lead. Basically meaning the Mustangs are gonna have to score twice. And on the attack now is Weasel. Weasel drives the lane. Knife there with the block shot. Knife looking, trying to get it over to Buffalo Halfridge. Finally does and Buffalo Halfridge finishes that. And that takes it up to a six point lead. That should be enough with 48 seconds on the clock. And there's a loose ball that goes out of bounds. And we'll go off of, I think, the Braves. No, we got a foul called. And that foul against Knife, I believe. That'll be her fourth personal. Fifth team foul. Shot is on the way by Weasel, and that's a nice bank shot. Down to a six-point ball game. Or actually, four-point ball game. Buffalo Alfred picking up a dribble. Ill advised to do that. Knife doing a good job of handling a bad pass. And then the same thing, Mendoza fires a pass, I believe that was. Uh, Knife with the put back and no good. And coming away with that is Weasel. Weasel down the court and Weasel throws that one away. It was a good opportunity but ahead by Weasel, but a little too strong on the pass. Braves got to realize they got a four point lead and slow this down a little bit. Kind of getting all excited here, but at the same time, it's been a pretty good ball game here in the second half. Moran down to Knife. Knife drives to the left. Pulls up. Bank shot. No good. Mendoza's put back is blocked. Second shot by Bordeaux is blocked. And that's number 32. Uh, picking up two blocks for the Mustangs. I got to think that number 32 down there now on the court is Steele. Ball inbounded by Bordeaux. Three-pointer. Another three-pointer by Buffalo Halfred. And she had a tough night, but... That'll finish it. Regardless of the misses, the Braves still finish on top by a score of 40 to 36 over the Mustangs. Uh, immediately following this, we'll be bringing you coverage of varsity action. Again, you're tuned in to GoBraves.live, bringing you streaming coverage of Shiny Butte girls basketball. one of the best nursing programs available in the region. For more information on how you can launch your healthcare career, go to lakeareatech.edu or capitalcitycampus.org. Farmers know crop insurance is essential for managing risk. It's also valuable for maximizing revenue. The crop insurance officers at Farm Credit Services of America have proprietary tools and expertise to deliver the personalized crop and revenue protection you need for the peace of mind you want. Nobody delivers crop insurance like this. Discover the difference by calling 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. 
Loose, Lucy, and Rec Funeral Homes are your family-owned businesses ready to help you in your time of need. With businesses in Gettysburg, Falkton, Miller, Highmore, and they service Cheyenne River Reservation. Mandy and Tiffany are there to answer any questions and help you along. Loose, Lucy, and Rec Funeral Homes proudly support all local sports and activities. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. Agriculture is like no other business, which makes Farm Credit Services of America like no other lender. Owned by the farmers and ranchers we serve, our customers have a voice in how we work, a stake in what we do, and share in our success. Discover a lender that works for you at Farm Credit Services of America. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. That moment when you realize your furnace is stone cold busted. We're talking a real put on every sweater you own, I can't feel my feet, penguin predicament. But fear not, there's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Pites Service Experts keep you warm with $50 off any furnace repair. Like it toasty? There's an expert for that. Call Pites Service Experts at 866-EXPERTS. See website for license details. The State Bank of Eagle Butte would like to wish all students of all schools a successful year of school and good luck on all future endeavors. May this year be the best year ever. High school activities teach our young people many of the skills they will need later in adult life. Good luck once again and wishing you the best for this school year. Thank you from all the employees here at the State Bank of Eagle Butte, where we are big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. CRST Telephone Authority is proud to be your local broadband provider. They provide internet, telephone, and television service. And as a customer, you may be eligible for discounted services through the Enhanced Tribal Lifetime Program or the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program. For more information about services or discounts on your service, call 964-2600. CRST Telephone Authority, proud to support athletes and students at Cheyenne Eagle Butte. 
your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it, and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. The Eagle Butte Co-op invites you to stop by their new hardware store to find a wall in Milwaukee power tool lines, paint and painting products, bolts, hardware, and more. Their auto shop has your automotive needs taken care of, offering oil changes, auto mechanics, wheel alignments, and tire changing. If you need feed, they have their own horse mix and other Purina feeds, cow cake, vet supplies, and horse tack with delivery service available. And the Co-op C store offers all the floor and after game snacks for the whole deli, including pizza and chicken. The Eagle Butte Co-op, a proud sponsor of all Cheyenne Eagle Butte sports and activities. Are you searching for an epic career in the healthcare field? Look no further. You can get a practical nursing degree from Lake Area Technical College right here at Capital City Campus in Pierce, South Dakota. It's close to home, affordable, hands-on learning and relevant training, outstanding job placement with an excellent return on your investment and one of the best nursing programs available in the region. For more information on how you can launch your healthcare career, Go to lakeareatech.edu or capitalcitycampus.org. Farmers know crop insurance is essential for managing risk. It's also valuable for maximizing revenue. The crop insurance officers at Farm Credit Services of America have proprietary tools and expertise to deliver the personalized crop and revenue protection you need for the peace of mind you want. Nobody delivers crop insurance like this. Discover the difference by calling 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Loose, Lucy and Wreck Funeral Homes are your family-owned businesses ready to help you in your time of need. With businesses in Gettysburg, Falkton, Miller, Highmore, and they service Cheyenne River Reservation. Mandy and Tiffany are there to answer any questions and help you along. Loose, Luzi and Rec Funeral Homes proudly support all local sports and activities. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. Agriculture is like no other business, which makes Farm Credit Services of America like no other lender. Owned by the farmers and ranchers we serve, our customers have a voice in how we work, a stake in what we do, and share in our success. Discover a lender that works for you at Farm Credit Services of America. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. 
Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. That moment when you realize your furnace is stone cold busted. We're talking a real put on every sweater you own, I can't feel my feet, penguin predicament. But fear not, there's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Tights Service Experts keep you warm with $50 off any furnace repair. Like it toasty? There's an expert for that. Call Pite Service Experts at 866-EXPERTS. See website for license details. The State Bank of Eagle Butte would like to wish all students of all schools a successful year of school and good luck on all future endeavors. May this year be the best year ever. High school activities teach our young people many of the skills they will need later in adult life. Good luck once again and wishing you the best for this school year. Thank you from all the employees here at the State Bank of Eagle View, where we are big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. CRST Telephone Authority is proud to be your local broadband provider. They provide internet, telephone, and television service. And as a customer, you may be eligible for discounted services through the Enhanced Tribal Lifetime Program or the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program. For more information about services or discounts on your service, call 964-2600. CRST Telephone Authority, proud to support athletes and students at Cheyenne Eagle Butte. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. The Eagle Butte Co-op invites you to stop by their new hardware store to find a wall in Milwaukee power tool lines, paint and painting products, bolts, hardware, and more. Their auto shop has your automotive needs taken care of, offering oil changes, auto mechanics, wheel alignments, and tire changing. If you need feed, they have their own horse mix and other Purina feeds, cow cake, vet supplies, and horse tack with delivery service available. And the Co-op C store offers all the floor and after game snacks with a full deli including pizza and chicken. The Eagle Butte Co-op, a proud sponsor of all Cheyenne Eagle Butte sports and activities. Are you searching for an epic career in the healthcare field? Look no further. You can get a practical nursing degree from Lake Area Technical College right here at Capital City Campus in Pierce, South Dakota. It's close to home, affordable, hands-on learning and relevant training, outstanding job placement with an excellent return on your investment and one of the best nursing programs available in the region. For more information on how you can launch your healthcare career, Go to lakeareatech.edu or capitalcitycampus.org. Farmers know crop insurance is essential for managing risk. It's also valuable for maximizing revenue. The crop insurance officers at Farm Credit Services of America have proprietary tools and expertise to deliver the personalized crop and revenue protection you need for the peace of mind you want. Nobody delivers crop insurance like this. Discover the difference by calling 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Loose, Lucy and Rec Funeral Homes are your family-owned businesses ready to help you in your time of need. With businesses in Gettysburg, Falkton, Miller, Highmore, and they service Cheyenne River Reservation. Mandy and Tiffany are there to answer any questions and help you along. Loose, Lucy and Rec Funeral Homes proudly support all local sports and activities. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. And welcome to tonight's game between the McLaughlin Mustangs and the Shiny Braves. 
We'd like to start with the starting lineup first for the Mustangs. A guard, number zero, Holly Miller. Another guard, number 10, Reagan Yellow Earrings. A third guard, number 12, Taylor Scares the Hawk. A forward center, number 20, Camino White Mountain. And guard number 24, Mercedes Chase. Mustangs are coached by Michael Stairshawk, assisted by Ronnie Leaf and Noah Taken Alive. Now for your shining be brave, starting with the cheerleaders. Santana February. August King. Jess Lawrence. Jeffrey Walters and Zoe Forbear. Cheer coach Kirby Longbreak. Starting lineup for the Braves. At a guard position, junior, number 12, Tiana Johnson. At a forward position, number 22, senior, Ariana Anderson Bike. At a forward position, position senior, number 23, Wania Garrow. At a guard position, number 24, Lana LeBeau. And at guard position, sophomore, number 25, Kelani Johnson. Very good coach by Josh Molash, assisted by Katie Morgan and Marissa Longview. Tonight's officials, Mark Logan, Danny Loss, and Ron Estes. If you please rise for the national anthem. Welcome to Braves Varsity Action. We're set to finish the evening with the Braves taking on the Mustangs. Kamimi La White Mountain and Juanita Gill set to tip off here the first quarter. Tip controlled by Tiana Johnson. Johnson crossing midcourt for Shining Boot over to LeBeau. LeBeau cross court to Kehlani Johnson back to Tiana. Looking inside for Gero, baseline over to Kehlani. Again, just moving the ball around the outside. Working against the zone defense here. Braves in the white uniform, Mustangs in the black. Anderson Vite drives up, ball will block. When he Gero's put back is no good. Board cleared up by McLaughlin with a break, breakaway layup and uh, nailing that layup is number 10, Reagan Yellow Earrings. 
Braves working the press now against the press. And Tiana Johnson over to Juanita Garrow. Garrow throws it right to Yellow Earrings. Turnover Braves. Out on top is Miller. Miller moving the ball over to Chase. Back to Yellow Earrings. Opposite side to number 12. Scares the Hawk as she shoots an air ball. White Mountain tips the ball out and Mustangs get another opportunity and a third opportunity, hitting none of them. And that is a strong re rebound by Garrow. And she's going to be fouled, hitting the back by number 24. First personal against Mercedes Chase. First team foul against the Mustangs. Tiana Johnson quickly down to Anderson Veit. Veit now working against the defense. Puts up a runner. Too strong. Put back. He's no good. But LeBeau will earn a trip to the line as she was fouled in the act of shooting. We'll see who the foul was against. And it will be against number 10, Yellow Earrings. Her first personal second team foul against the Mustangs. At the line, we are going to see LeBeau shoot a pair. First one is a little strong. Lana LeBeau is a senior at 5'6". Second free throw rattles in. She makes one out of two. One to two early on here, first quarter. Mustangs now crossing midcourt. Miller coming to the right side. Shifts it back out on top over to Chase. Back to Miller, down to the corner. Just on the three-point line, shot is up. Ball is tipped around. And it is sent back out on top. Miller with the ball. Down to the corner, looking for a White Mountain, and that's going to be a pushing foul going against Garrow. Give White Mountain some credit there for holding the position. Got pushed in the back. First team foul against the Braves. Mustang set to inbound. Way out on top, over to Miller. Opposite side, yellow earrings. Down to, scares the Hawk. Scares the Hawk, loses the handle. This ball comes up and ends up in the hands of Chase. And she gets an easy bucket off that tip away. Quickly down come the Braves. Johnson, Johnson over to Garrow. Garrow's going to be fouled, and that's going to be two shots. Renee Garrow had the shot blocked. I believe they're going to call a body foul. Um, from here, it looked like a pretty good block. And block will, a foul will go against number 20, White Mountain. Third team foul against the Braves. Scareshawk on the bench. Coach Scareshawk didn't care for that call. Uh, first free throw by Garrow is no good. Juanita Garrow is a 5'11 forward senior for Shining Butte. Second free throw is good. 2-4 to four early on. Mustangs with the ball and with the lead. Miller out top. Opposite side over to Scares the Hawk. Wild shot being put up and no good. That shot was by number 24, Chase. Board cleaned up by the Braves. LeBeau now coming down. Pressure put on. Tiana Johnson over to Anderson Veit. Kicked out to Tiana Johnson. Three-pointer up. No good. Uh, loose ball controlled by... Actually tipped out by Black. So Braves will retain possession down there in the corner. No, ball belongs to the Mustangs. Off the Braves. Scares the Hawk on top. Over to Yellow Earrings. Down the corner to the White Mountain. Three-pointer in and out. Back in. Three-pointers for White Mountain. Number 20. Actually, that was a two-pointer. Must have been on the line. And a steal by the Mustangs. Three-pointer up this time. It's going to be short. And that's Gero with the rebound. Getting it over to Tiana Johnson. Johnson has the ball stripped by Miller. Johnson comes over and immediately commits a foul. And she falls number 10 of the Mustangs' yellow earrings. Tiana Johnson's first personal. Ninth into the game. And taking the seat would be Anderson Veit. Also, Wilson in the game for Shining Butte, and Juanita Garrow will take a seat. We also have number 25 into the game, Frankie Archambo for the Mustangs. Archambo firing a three-pointer, and that is going to hit nothing but net. Three-pointer good there for, by Archambo. 
nine to two. In the bowl, getting it over to Tiana Johnson. Johnson drives baseline, and we're gonna have a blocking foul go against number 14. That is Jesse Brown picking up the personal. Fourth team foul against the Mustangs. Keani Johnson set to inbound for Shining Gabut. Ball out to LeBeau, and LeBeau loses handle, turnover LeBeau. So very early on here, we see some good defense by the Mustangs, and also hitting a few big buckets, and they continue on the attack here. Out on top is our shamble. Right wing to Miller. Ball going to be kicked down to the corner, corner. Number 14 with the shot, no good. Ball tipped out by Archambault, will belong to the Braves. That was Jesse Brownwater with the three pointer. We're gonna have a timeout here. 30 second timeout called by Shining Abut. Two to nine, seven point lead here by the Mustangs. Tonight's officials include Mark Logan, Dan Lusk, and RJ Estes. Braves cheerleaders tonight, Santana Feather Earring, August King, Jess Lawrence, Jeffrey Walters, and Zoe Forbear. Student managers for the Braves, Lexis Lawrence, Dusty Traversy, and O'Neill Washburn. Braves athletic director, Alan Benoist, superintendent, Jennifer Bowman, and Kara Forbear. Ball inbounded to Tiana Johnson. Johnson now goes down the left side. Um, we'll cross over the top, over to Knife. Down to Wilson. Wilson, backdoor pass to LeBeau. And a nice pass by Wilson to LeBeau. Good job break, breaking the press. Four to nine, favor of the Mustangs. Archambo again, speeding down the court, getting it over to Miller. And quickly comes number 24. And she's stripped by Tiana Johnson. Johnson shifts to her left hand and then pulls up. Setting the offense out on top to LeBeau. To Kehlani Johnson, three-pointer up, three-pointer in. So just that quick, five points for the Braves and they're right back in this one. Seven to nine. Archambault down to number 14, Brown Otter. Reach-in foul is gonna go against LeBeau. And LeBeau picking up her first personal, 13 foul against Shining Abute. Set to inbound now is Chase. Getting it over to Miller. Miller on top, firing a three-pointer, no good. Long rebound, back to number 24. That is Chase. Chase firing a wild three-pointer, hits nothing but the hands of the defender knife. And now is gonna be fouled by Chase, number 24. Second personal on Chase, fifth team foul, I believe, against the Mustangs. Coming into the game is number 40 for the Mustangs, and that is Destiny Medicine Crow. Kehlani Johnson, three-pointer up, and too strong, way too strong. Board cleared up by Tiana Johnson, her run is right there. Tiana Johnson with two points in the ball game, and we're tied up nine to nine. So two, two, to, two to nine, seven point deficit. Braves quickly turn that around and tie it right back up, scoring seven unanswered points. Left side to Miller. Inside, down to the corner to Archambo. Interior to White Mountain. Nice, strong move. Backdoor pass made. Easy bucket there for Medicine Crow. Back to a two point lead for the Mustangs. Keelani Johnson, right side. Pulls up. Opposite side to Tiana Johnson. Reverse to LeBeau. Cross court. Tiana Johnson drives the lane. Scoop shot is up and no good. Board off to Mustangs. Miller now with the ball, but a timeout by Michael Stairsholt, coach of the Mustangs. With 2.18 on the clock, first quarter, Shining Butte Braves, 9, Mustangs, 11. Getting set to check in will be number 5, uh, Anaya Millette for the Mustangs. And again, if you were watching earlier, the Braves JV team pulled out a victory. Brave C team lost 2021 to the Mustangs. 
And again, I apologize that I did not have a full roster for the JV game. So I may have used duplicate names that are currently playing in this game. And the ones that play in this game should be the correct ones as I have the score sheets finally. And with that, possession belongs to the Mustangs. Braves are going to stay back on defense. No, actually they come up to meet at the three-quarter line. And a tip and nearly stolen. Archambo now crossing midcourt. And a shot up by Millette right away. In and out. No good. LeBeau with the rebound. And LeBeau to Knife. Knife looking for help. Over to Johnson. Johnson brings it right back to the middle. Johnson controlling over to Knife. Knife three-pointer up. And no strong. Board cleared up by number 40, Medicine Crow. Archambo crossing midcourt. White Mountain, opposite side, Millette, down to the corner to Archambault, mid-range, and that's right there by number 25, Frankie Archambault. She's got five in the ball game. Back up to a four-point lead, 13 to nine. Kelani Johnson down to Knife, Knife looking inside, pulls up, inside pass made to Tia, back there, pass wide open is LeBeau. Credit Tia Wilson with the assist on that one. She made that whole thing happen. Kelani Johnson with the steal in the bucket. And Braves tied right back up, 13-13 with a minute left to go, first quarter. Frankie Archambault down to number five, Millette. Millette drives baseline, and there's going to be a foul going against LeBeau. That will be number two against LeBeau, be the fourth team foul against the Braves. Wadi again will set to check in, and we'll see if she comes in for LeBeau. And she does with the two fouls under a minute here with 59 seconds. Tie ball game. Millette set to inbound for the Mustangs. Millette to Archambault. Back to Millette. Tipped out by Johnson. Johnson being very quick on those passing lanes. She came up to that steal previously and got a bucket. Ball over to White Mountain. Back on top to Archambault. Calls out the piece play, or two. Opposite side with the ball is 14, Brown Otter. She shoots an air ball. Knife would be advised to let that one go, and there's going to be a travel. Good defense there by Garrow to stop White Mountain. White Mountain likes that spin move, but Garrow didn't give her any room. So Braves forced the turnover with 41 seconds. Knife quickly into Tiana Johnson, over the top to Garrow, and tipped out of bounds by Medicine Crow. Tiana Johnson coming down now. 30 seconds on the shot clock. Working against Archambault. Down to Knife. Knife into Tiana. Or Tia. It's too strong of a pass from Knife. Back door past Archambault. And we have Johnson in the backcourt. And I think she's hurt. And we're going to have a. No. There's got to be a time here. We have a hurt player in the back. She took a hit to the side. You usually don't see Tiana moving down the court that way and she heads to the bench and we see LeBeau come in with 16 seconds as she gains her composure on the sidelines Braves trailing by two right now baseline to Tiao and bank shot no good by actually that was Gero to Wilson Wilson missing the shot foul goes against the Braves And that will go, go against number 21, Tia Wilson. First personal, 15 fouls. Both teams with five team fouls. Four seconds, three seconds, uh, and that's a travel. So with a second on the clock, Braves can throw one up here at the buzzer. 1.2. And we'll have to see where it goes. And the ball is going to be thrown in. And thrown away by Keilani Johnson. So, Mustangs get a chance here to go in the other way with 1.2. Again, they're up by 2, 15 to 13. Nobody touched the ball, so the ball has to go to the opposite side. There it is. 
And that's going to be no good. And that'll end the first half, 13 to 15, in favor of the Mustangs. So pretty good half, or quarter, first quarter. So again, both teams putting up some decent numbers. Leading score for the Braves with five points is Keilani Johnson and Alana LeBeau. And leading the Mustangs is Frankie Archambeau with five. Enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. Resetting for the Braves, they have Mendoza, Anderson, Veit, Bardot, Moran, Buffalo Halfway, basically the JV team out there now. And Mustangs moving the ball around. Interior pass tipped out by Anderson, Veit. They were looking inside for Millette. Ball inbounded, turning on jump shot, too strong. Bardot with the ball. Buffalo half right now, lots of pressure here. And she gets it over to Moran. Moran now pushing the ball down and throws the ball away. Actually controlled by Mendoza off the hands of the Mustangs. And Mustangs with the steal. That ball will hit the top of the gymnasium and that's gonna be a turnover going against the Mustangs. So again, this is a JV squad in here in the start second quarter. And we'll see how this works out. Again, the first squad kept pretty tight. Again, it's 13-15 now here. Start of the second quarter, 7.30 on the clock. Buffalo half red over to Bardo. Buffalo half red again working against the defense. Down to Moran. Interior pass too hard by Moran looking for Mendoza. Another turnover by the Braves. With the ball now is Miller out on top. Right side to number 12, scares the Hawk. Back to Miller. Interior pass to Chase, baseline. Easy putback is no good by number five, Millette. And there's gonna be a foul by Millette. Seems to always happen when you make a bad shot and doesn't go in, you commit the sin of committing a foul immediately afterwards. And that'll be 16 fouls. First personal on number 21 for uh, actually number five, Millette. Mustangs now with the steal with seven minutes on the clock here, second quarter. They're ahead by two points. Right side over to um, in, in Millette. Rebound controlled by Mendoza. Mendoza nearly throws it away. Buffalo half red just throws the ball. Uh, somehow Bordeaux comes up with it. It ends right back up with Buffalo half red. And she's gonna be fouled. And that was kind of a lucky call for that because the 10-second 10 call would have been made in terms of the backcourt pressure. And that'll be a bonus here for Buffalo Halfred. That foul goes against number 12, scares the Hawk, her first personal. Seventh team foul going against the Mustangs. And at the line, we're going to see Buffalo Halfred. Buffalo half rate is a guard at 5-3, junior. Free throw is no good. Board comes off to number 24, Chase. Miller crossing midcourt, left wing. Over to Millette. Millette's running left is going to be good. Number 5, Millette attacking the hoop. Back up to a four-point lead. Morgan down, to, well, actually that's uh, Moran. Getting it down to Anderson Veit, and that was tipped away by number 24, Chase. It's a near turnover, but Braves retain possession. Tommy Moran inbounds to Bardo. Over to Mariah 
Out on top to Anderson Wright. Spin move. Shot is up. No good. Rebound cleared up by Chase. Miller now gets control to set the offense for the Mustangs. Left wing, Anderson Wright with the steal. She pushes that down. She's going to be fouled. And that's still going to be a one and one for the Braves. And we'll see who the foul goes against. And that foul goes against Miller, her first personal. Eighth team foul going against the Mustangs. That means at this point with 556, we're likely to see a lot of free throws here moving into the latter part of the second quarter. Uh, taking a seat will be Mendoza and Garrow checks into the game. Anderson Wright's free throw is no good. Garrow with the near rebound to pull away by Millette. Quickly down the court and stealing the ball is Tommy Moran. Bordeaux back to Moran. Moran quickly over to Buffalo Halfred. Halfred getting it over to Anderson Wright. She drives up and under and she's going to be fouled pretty hard. Uh, that was a pretty tough foul. That's where you say you get your money's worth. And that was number 24 with the strong fall. And that's going to be the third personal. So we may see her go to the bench. But Anderson Veidt at the free throw line popping right back up. Now they're saying the foul went against number 12. Scares the Hawk. And that free throw is no good on the first of two free throws. a four point lead for the Mustangs 13 to 17 second free throw attempt is no good, board comes off to Millette, Millette down the right side quickly pulls up, resets the offense Braves look to be in the zone defense here, 2-3 drive up the middle, dish to the top to Millette, Millette looking for the lane spins, goes up forces a shot, no good Anderson Veidt with the rebound was tied up. And that will be a jump ball possession arrow to Shiny Gabut. Johnson and Johnson come into the game. Tiana and Kilani. Taking a seat will be Moran and Anderson Wright. Over the top to Tiana. She holds up. Pressure defense immediately. But Gill comes over to help out. Ball nearly thrown away. Controlled by Johnson. She loses it finally. And with the steals number 12. And ball tipped away. And good defense there by Keilani Johnson. Number 12 scares the Hawk with the breakaway layup. Uh, Keilani tips away just in time to go off the leg of scares the Hawk. Returning to the game, we see Brown Otter, White Feather, and Arshambo. Arshambo with the steal. Stolen right back by Tiana Johnson. Over to Keilani. Keilani now pushing down the left side. This is Shamble girl is pretty quick. She's everywhere. Now to Buffalo Halfred, and she throws it down. Driving the lanes, Tiana Johnson. Scoop shot is no good. Board cleared up by White Mountain. And we're going to have a foul going against Tiana Johnson. Tiana Johnson picking up her second personal. And I believe that might be the seventh team foul. We'll see here. Actually, the sixth team foul. I'm not shooting the bonus yet for McLaughlin. Again, still a four-point lead for the Mustangs, 17-13. Archambo now coming down, way on top. Pushes the ball left over to Miller. Back to Millette. Millette spin moves and scoops and makes the bucket. Millette with four points in the quarter. It is 19-13. Johnson inside to Garrow. Garrow back to Johnson. Tiana looking at a three-pointer, fires, and it's going to be good. Tiana Johnson from the corner. She's got five in the ball game. Cuts that lead in half. It's now a three-point lead, 16 to 19. Millette, left side, left lane. Back on top to Archambault. 
Back to Millet, three-pointer on the way, and that's going to be good. Millet with seven in the ball game, and back up to a six-point lead. Johnson, uh, Keilani, and she's going to be blocked. Garrow misses a point-blank layup, and it's going to be over the back going against number 32 of the Braves, I think, and that is going to be Bordeaux. And that will be Bordeaux's first personal. And going to the line, we will see White Mountain to shoot the bonus. Wilson and LeBeau set to check back in. Again, one thing to note, again, LeBeau has two falls. First free throw is way too strong. Board comes off to Millette. Better get on her. She fires another three, and she does, but rebound is a little too strong. Controlled by Miller, tipped away by Johnson. 326, six point lead for the Mustangs. 16 22. And we're going to have a full timeout here by the Mustangs. So with 326 left here in the first half, Braves trail by six, 22 to 16. Agriculture is like no other business, which makes Farm Credit Services of America like no other lender. Owned by the farmers and ranchers we serve, our customers have a voice in how we work, a stake in what we do, and share in our success. Discover a lender that works for you at Farm Credit Services of America. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it, and it took care of So returning to action here. Again, Mustangs up by six. They have the ball. Again, a big story here of the quarter has been Millette. They've got seven in the quarter. All of those belong to Millette. Ball inbounded, sent to the middle by Archambo. Up and under move, too strong. And Wilson with the rebound, she's going to be fouled. Archambo picking up the personal. Archambo's first personal, and we're going to see at the line uh, Tia Wilson. Wilson is a 5'11 senior forward, number 21. Double bonus, it's 10th foul against the Mustangs. First free throw is good. It's now a five point lead. Second attempt is bounced around and controlled by White Mountain. Left side to Miller. Miller still going down that left side. She kicks it back out on top, controlled by Millette. Millette coming in for that spin move. Puts up a wild shot. No good. Gets her own rebound. Back out on top to Archambault. Pushing it back to Millette. Interior pass to Miller. Back to Archambault. Shot is up. Air ball. Uh, and that is Kelani Johnson now moving down. The sophomore down the right side. Pulls up. 2.40 on the clock, Braves trailing by five. The sophomore Johnson is setting the offense for Shining Butte and pushes it over, pushes it to LeBeau. LeBeau dishes to Guerra. Guerra having trouble and very quickly tied up and has the ball stolen, but stolen right back by LeBeau. It's over Tiana, our nice pass there, but point blank layup blown twice by Guerra. Comes out of there smiling, even though there's two layups that were both blown point Blake. That was a good pass by Wilson to Garrow, but not able to convert. Marshambo working against the pressure, crossing midcourt, met by Tiana Johnson. Marshambo going left, looking to Miller. If I'm Miller, get out of the way. 
Miller in the corner now. Miller firing a three. No good. Long rebound off to Keilani Johnson. Johnson alone bringing it down. Under two minutes. Again, five-point lead for the Mustangs. Johnson setting the offense again. And this is what happened last time when they got taken away. So, again, LeBeau has the ball thrown away directly to Millett. Millett quickly down to Miller. And that is going to be a foul against LeBeau. And LeBeau is going to take a seat as that is her third personal. And that is the eighth team foul against the Braves. And at the line, we are going to see uh, Holly Miller. Miller is a 5'5 senior guard for Mustangs. Jalen Knife comes back into the game. Wilson will take a seat. We also see Tommy Moran in the game. So Jalen Knife, Moran, Johnson and Johnson, and Garrell. First free throw by Miller is good. That one rattles around and drops. Second free throw looks a lot better as that one goes straight through. Two free throws for Miller. Miller will take a seat and return into the game. We're going to see number 10, Reagan Yellow Earrings. Knife quickly over to Moran. Moran quickly looking down court. Wide open is Kehlani. Kehlani with the hook. <coughs> Assist Moran. Kehlani with seven points in the ball game. Yellow Earrings out on top. Over to number 12, scares the hawk. Back out on top. She fires a three-pointer and air ball. Controlled by Gill. Quickly over to Tiana Johnson. Johnson has it stripped. Finds its way to Kehlani Johnson. Johnson being bumped, but nothing called. And her runner is going to be no good. Gill is put back. It's tipped out of bounds, and it will belong to the Braves. Gill just doesn't seem enthused about putting them balls or shooting them down there. And that's going to be kind of a challenge because she's getting some good opportunities. Ball inbounded to Knife. Knife back to Kehlani Johnson. Three-pointer a little strong. Ball chipped and controlled by the Mustangs. Scares the Hawk comes away with that. And ball back to number 10 with a strong bucket is Yellow Earrings. That foul will go against number 24 of the Mustangs, and that's going to be the third foul going against number 24, and that is Mercedes Chase. 39 seconds here and left in the half. Braves trail by seven. We're going to see Johnson at the line, and it will be the double bonus, so she's going to get two free throws. First free throw is no good. Second opportunity is good. Cuts the lead down to six. 39 seconds, and that should be a turnover, but it's not. Well, that uh, was not called correctly, I would say, in my opinion, but again, I'm not officiating. And we're going to have a foul going the opposite way against White Mountain. I believe that is LeBeau. Or Garrell. Lanier Garrell with the foul. And we're going to see White Mount at the line. And that is the second foul against Garrell. Free throw is no good by White Mountain. And our shamble coming back in with 31 seconds. Second free throw is no good, and that is taken away by Millette. Stolen by Tiana Johnson. Johnson now going down, and she gets it over to Juanita Garrow. Garrow again loses the handle on it. And that's going to be a foul against Archambeau. And at the line, we're going to see Kilani Johnson. Johnson. Archambeau picking up her second personal. And again, uh, two more free throws here for Sharon Gabut. First trip to the line for Kilani.
first free throw is good. Down to a five point lead, 21 seconds on the clock here in the first half. Second free throw is short. Rebound controlled by White Mountain. Down to Millette. Millette seems to get by anybody she wants to. There's going to be a reach-in fall going against Johnson. Tiana Johnson picking up her third personal as well, I believe. Well, shows up as the first personal on the board, but we'll see what that is. And at the line now, we see Millette to shoot a pair. First free throw is no good. Second free throw is no good, and stolen by Kilani Johnson. She throws it away. Uh, there with the shot, and uh, no good. Rebound controlled by Knife over to Tiana Johnson with the last shot before the half, and in and out, no good. So that ends the half with the Braves only. Actually, the Braves put up uh, 21, so they put up eight points in that quarter. While the Mustangs put up 11, they finished with 26 in that quarter. So running out the scoring here at halftime for you. First for the Mustangs. Again, they were led in that quarter by Millette, number five. She had seven in the quarter with two missed free throws. Um, Holly Miller with two. Reagan Yellow Earrings with four. Mercedes Chase with two. Camilla White Mountain with two. Frankie O'Shamble with five. And Destiny Medicine Crow with two. For the Braves, uh, Juanita Guerrero with a free throw. Elena Alana LeBeau with five points. Tiana Johnson finishes with six in the first half. Kilani finishes with eight. And Tia Wilson has a free throw. So 21-26 at halftime. Braves trailing the Mustangs. Friends, and maybe that's someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. That moment when you realize your furnace is stone cold busted. We're talking a real put on every sweater you own, I can't feel my feet, penguin predicament. But fear not, there's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Pites Service Experts keep you warm with $50 off any furnace repair. Like it toasty? There's an expert for that. Call Pites Service Experts at 866-EXPERTS. See website for license details. The State Bank of Eagle Butte would like to wish all students of all schools a successful year of school and good luck on all future endeavors. May this year be the best year ever. High school activities teach our young people many of the skills they will need later in adult life. Good luck once again and wishing you the best for this school year. Thank you from all the employees here at the State Bank of Eagle Butte, where we are big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. 
CRST Telephone Authority is proud to be your local broadband provider. They provide internet, telephone, and television service. And as a customer, you may be eligible for discounted services through the Enhanced Tribal Lifetime Program or the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program. For more information about services or discounts on your service, call 964-2600. CRST Telephone Authority. Proud to support athletes and students at Cheyenne Eagle Butte. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. The Eagle Butte Co-op invites you to stop by their new hardware store to find a wall in Milwaukee power tool lines, paint and painting products, bolts, hardware, and more. Their auto shop has your automotive needs taken care of, offering oil changes, auto mechanics, wheel alignments, and tire changing. If you need feed, they have their own horse mix and other Purina feeds, cow cake, vet supplies, and horse tack with delivery service available. And the Co-op C store offers all the before and after game snacks for the whole deli, including pizza and chicken. The Eagle Butte Co-op, a proud sponsor of all Cheyenne Eagle Butte sports and activities. Are you searching for an epic career in the healthcare field? Look no further. You can get a practical nursing degree from Lake Area Technical College right here at Capital City Campus in Pierce, South Dakota. It's close to home, affordable, hands-on learning and relevant training, outstanding job placement with an excellent return on your investment and one of the best nursing programs available in the region. For more information on how you can launch your healthcare career, Go to lakeareatech.edu or capitalcitycampus.org. Farmers know crop insurance is essential for managing risk. It's also valuable for maximizing revenue. The crop insurance officers at Farm Credit Services of America have proprietary tools and expertise to deliver the personalized crop and revenue protection you need for the peace of mind you want. Nobody delivers crop insurance like this. Discover the difference by calling 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Loose, Lucy and Wreck Funeral Homes are your family-owned businesses ready to help you in your time of need. With businesses in Gettysburg, Falkton, Miller, Highmore, and they service Cheyenne River Reservation. Mandy and Tiffany are there to answer any questions and help you along. Loose, Luzi and Rec Funeral Homes proudly support all local sports and activities. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. Agriculture is like no other business, which makes Farm Credit Services of America like no other lender. Owned by the farmers and ranchers we serve, our customers have a voice in how we work, a stake in what we do, and share in our success. Discover a lender that works for you at Farm Credit Services of America. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. At Northern State University, your future starts with an affordable education that's personalized for you. 
Experience hands-on learning guided by world-class supportive faculty. You'll also enjoy a full campus life with opportunities to choose from numerous student activities and events, all in a safe, welcoming community. At Northern, you'll find a college that's right for you, a place to belong. Your future starts here. Unleash your potential at Northern. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. That moment when you realize your furnace is stone cold busted. We're talking a real put on every sweater you own, I can't feel my feet, penguin predicament. But fear not. There's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Pites Service Experts keep you warm with $50 off any furnace repair. For the Braves, uh, LeBeau has three fouls. So with that being said, uh, we're set to return to action here. We've got Garrow, Moran, Anderson, Vite, and Johnson and Johnson. Out on top is Miller, left side. With the ball is number 10, yellow earrings. Yellow earrings back out on top. Scares the hawk. Interior pass thrown away by the Mustangs with the turnovers, yellow earrings. Coming up with the loose ball is Anderson Vite over to Johnson. Johnson opposite side to Kehlani. Kehlani kicks it over to Anderson Vite. She drives up, puts the runner. Air ball, rebound controlled by Eagle Butte. Three pointer on the way by Tiana Johnson. Controlled by number 12. Scares the hawk. Scares the hawk left side, throws the ball away. The pass was intended for Miller. Mishandled. Seven minutes here, third quarter. Full court pressure defense here by the Mustangs. Johnson gets it across midcourt. Nearly hits Officer Mitchell. Ball will belong to Shining Butte. Tiana now with the ball, working it on top. Tiana throwing the ball away, not getting back on defense. With a wide open layup, it scares the hawk. Johnson bringing it down to Guerrero, opposite side, Kehlani Johnson. Seven point lead, 21 27. Tiana Johnson looking inside. Decides against it. That was Anderson Vite working down low. Finally, the pass is made, but thrown away by Keilani Johnson. Quickly down the court, ball is nearly stripped and is finally stolen by Keilani. Moran to Tiana, and Tiana will be fouled. And that will be Holly Miller picking up the personal, her first. And that is the first team foul against McLaughlin. Tiana Johnson at the line. First half, she was one for two. First opportunity is good for Johnson. Lead cut back down to six. Second free throw, no good. Anderson Vite battling in there. We're going to have a travel. Well, there's a jump ball. Possession will belong to the Braves. Garrow set the inbound. Ball tipped out of bounds. Will belong to the Braves. Kehlani Johnson set the inbound. 6.16 on the clock. Cross court. To Moran, opposite side, Anderson Vite. Moran pump fakes, drives, dishes to Anderson Vite. Spin move is up and short. And rebound comes off to Miller. 
Miller quickly down the court. Kaylani Johnson not looking. She would have had an easy steal on that one. Uh, and so the ball being reversed opposite side over to number 10, Yellow Earrings. Baseline over to Scares the Hawk. White Mountain, Scares Hawk, three-pointer up by Scares Hawk, and that's going to be good. She's got five in the quarter, and it is 31-22, a nine-point lead. And that is Moran throwing that ball away. And so another turnover by the Braves. Again, Braves just forcing the passes. A little patience, I think, would go a long ways in breaking the press. Ball being set to inbound right in front of the Braves bench by number 24, Chase. Miller, left wing, scares the Hawk. Back to Miller, interior pass. White Mountain, and Johnson comes over and strips the ball. And Johnson comes away with it over to Tiana. Tiana now pushing down the court over to Anderson Vite. Anderson Vite goes up, and she's going to be fouled. Foul will go against number zero, Holly Miller, her third personal. Second team foul, not the line we are going to see. Anderson Vite to shoot a pair. First free throw is good. She is one for four from the line. And I think coming in for Anderson Vite will be Buffalo Half Red. Um, again, she's checking in for the shooter. We also have Millette into the game as well as our shamble for the Mustangs. Second attempt is right there. Substitution being made after the made free throw. So it's back down to a seven point lead. Again, Braves not letting them get away, which is a good thing. Um, at the same time, you gotta keep an eye on Millette. I think Millette has a lot of firepower and then the quickness of Archambault is something you're gonna have to deal with. Ball crossing midcourt now, or looking to cross midcourt. And that is Archambault working against Tiana Johnson, or actually a Braves 2-3 zone defense. Down to the corner, tipped away. And that is Johnson tipping the ball out of bounds. Possession will retain with the Mustangs. Official crawling under the bleachers to retrieve the ball. Extra bonus points for that. Ball being inbounded. And that is our shamble now. Going to the opposite side. And she is looking for White Mountain. Back to our shamble. Down to the corner, shot is up, air ball. Kelani Johnson with the rebound. And working the ball, looking over the top. Gets it down to Moran. Moran to Lagero, and she nearly makes the bucket, but is fouled. And we'll see who the foul goes against. Um, I think that's number five, Millette, second personal. And that is the fourth team foul, I would think, or actually the third team foul against the Mustangs. Garrow at the free throw line, and first free throw is no good. Set to check in is Tia Wilson, and she's coming in for the shooter, which means Garrow is going to go out. Second opportunity is good, and it's down to a six-point lead again. So we're a couple quick baskets by the Mustangs were quickly answered, not quickly answered, but by basically free throws by Shani Butte. They've got four from six from the line in this half. Archambault crossing midcourt. This is a pretty good matchup between Tiana Johnson and still there by Buffalo Halfred. Over Tiana Johnson. Johnson goes up strong. She's swatted by number 24. And that is Chase. And they lose the handle down the other end and will belong to the Braves. The good matchup though, the quickness here is Tiana Johnson versus um, Archambault. Both very quick. And we're going to have a timeout here by Shining Butte coach Molash. And Anderson's going to go check in. Anderson White. And so with 4.13 on the clock, Braves trail by six, but they have possession of the ball. Braves have shot six free throws here in the quarter and made four. And that's the four they put up for the Mustangs. 
They've got five points on the board in the quarter, and that comes from Taylor Scareshawk. Scareshawk in the ballgame has five. Leading scorer again is Millette for the Mustangs with seven. For the Braves, Keelani Johnson with eight, and Tiana Johnson with seven. Tiana Johnson takes a seat. Opposite side reversal. Down to Moran. Moran across the top. And runner put up by Kilani Johnson. That's going to be good. Kilani with a nice bucket. Lead is down to four. Archambault is going to be followed by Johnson. Kilani picking up her second, actually her first personal. First team foul against the Braves in the quarter. And we are in the third quarter with 3.50 on the clock. Chase inbounding over to Millette. Quickly down, looking inside for White Mountain. Over to Archambault. Millette baseline to Chase and ball stripped and stolen by Moran. And Keilani Johnson now pushing the ball down the court. And that is Johnson still continuing to work against Chase. Buffalo Halfway, three-pointer up, and a little strong. Board cleared up by number 14, Brown Otter. Archambault looking the other way now. Four-point lead for the Mustangs and possession. Archambault right side, baseline White Mountain. Back to Archambault. Archambault fires a short-range air ball. Anderson Veit with the rebound, and Keani Johnson now pushing the ball down. Getting it over top to Tia Wilson. Wilson holds up. Moran firing a three-pointer, and that's going to be good. That is Tommy Moran hitting the three-pointer, and that kind of helps the cause. Her first points of the ball game. Braves are within one, 30 to 31. Down to the corner, Millette, three-pointer up, no good. Board cleared up, and we're going to have an over-the-back call going against Chase. Uh, Chase picking up her, it's got to be her fourth if I'm calling this correctly here. And that will be the fourth team foul against, yep, that is her fourth personal. And fourth team foul against the Mustangs. <laughs> so we see Anderson Veit and Keilani Johnson taking a break. Tiana back into the game as well as LeBeau. Buffalo Halfred and Tia Wilson. Keilani crossing half court now for the Braves. Tiana goes up, puts up a wild shot, no good. Scramble for the ball, and that is hit off the Braves, I believe. And will belong to Black. Kind of ill advised four shot by Tiana Johnson on that play. Not able to get the rebound after the scramble. Mustangs ahead by one, and they have the possession coming down court. Number 12 scares the Hawk out on top. Left side to Millette. Three-pointer on the way by Millette. That's going to be short. Ball tipped and controlled by Millette. Her runner is going to be no good. But she's going to be fouled. And that's going to be two free throws for Millette. I believe that foul will go against Tommy Moran. Moran picking up her first personal. Second team foul against the Braves. And at the line we're going to see Millette. She's got seven points in the ball game, and we'll get two free throws here. Two or five on the clock. That free throw is no good, so still a one-point ball game. Second opportunity is there for Millet. Two-point ball game. Johnson. Working against Scares Hawk. Johnson by Scares Hawk and then meets White Mountain. Back to LeBeau. Wilson wide open in the middle and that's a double dribble. Oh, I don't understand that one. All you can figure out, you just stop dribbling and decide to go again. So that will be a double dribble going against LeBeau. Turnover. Uh, two point lead for the Braves. Ball inbound to Millette. You got to keep track of Millette. Nobody stops her. Easy layup for Millette. Four-point lead, 
for the Mustangs. Johnson, guarded by Scares the Hawk. Johnson stripped and stolen by Miller, back to Scares Hawk. Scares Hawk with the easy runner. Just that quick, it's up to a six point lead. Tiana Johnson up top, again, Scares Hawk working against her. Tiana Johnson with the near turnover again. Kehlani was handling that pressure defense and now, again, new people up top and having a little trouble with that backward defense, mainly with Miller and Scares the Hawk given the pressure. Now we see LeBeau working against Miller. Back out on top, Brave setting the offense, working against a man-to-man. And that is ball is tipped and nobody goes after it again. Brave's not hustling and they quit playing and there's a compounded mistake and that is LeBeau picking up the personal and she more than likely will head to the bench with her fourth personal. Um, ball was tipped into the backcourt and she should have ran after it, she didn't. And she committed the foul. So at the line we are going to see number 10, yellow earrings to shoot a pair. It was a one point ball game and it's now up to a six point ball game. That free throw is good. Substitution being made. And that will be Anderson White for LeBeau. LeBeau takes a seat. Minute left to go in your third period. Second free throw is good by Yellow Earrings. Johnson again working against Scares Hawk. Really not able to handle Scares Hawk, I think. Again, the pressure defense she's been giving her is pretty decent. Moran with the ball inside to Tiana Johnson, and that's going to be a travel, I believe. And that's what the call is. Yeah, you got to give Scares Hawk uh, credit for the good defense, and then Johnson trying to do a little bit too much at this point. Eight point lead, ball over to White Mountain. White Mountain working against Tiana yeah, Wilson, and there's a travel. He slipped on the floor is White Mountain. And again, this turn has come about with the substitution of Kehlani Johnson going out. So, Johnson coming down again, same story. And again, stripped by Scares Hawk. Scares Hawk is going to go up for a lap. Nope, she pulls up instead, back cross court over to Millette. Millette, uh, tough, strong move, but short. And put back is right there by number 12, Scares Hawk. 10-point lead now. Tiana Johnson, 16 seconds. And Johnson again, doing too much. Not moving the ball. And that is Buffalo Halfway going to be fouled. And foul going against number 10, Yellow Earrings. Her first personal, second, or actually second personal. Fifth team foul against the Mustangs. So again, at the juncture when Kehlani Johnson went out, it was a one-point ball game. Now it's up to a 10-point ball game. Tiana Johnson with the ball. Again, scares Hawk on her. Tiana Johnson finally finds some room. And she blows the layup. And that should have been a travel, but right away, nope, no shot at the buzzer. So it's down to a 10 point ball game. Again, it was 30 to 31. It's 30 to 40 now. And again, the Braves kind of struggled after a good start to that quarter. Uh, Mustangs, again, they didn't contain Taylor Scares the Hawk. In that quarter, she had nine points. Uh, chipping in three was Millette and two for Yellow Earrings. For the Braves in the quarter, they had a three-pointer by Moran, bucket by Johnson, and free throws by Ariana Anderson, Wright, and Gero, and T Tiana Johnson. So that brings us into the final quarter. Again, Braves trailing by 10. They ate into a sizable lead earlier. So again, let's hope the defense can pick up the pace here and close this lead again. And again, the pressure of Scareshawk was the big story at the end of that quarter as well as with Buckets. Resetting the brace for you, you have Buffalo Alfred, Kehlani Johnson, Knife, Garrow, and Anderson Vite. For the Mustangs, you have Miller, 
Scares the Hawk, Yellow Earrings, White Mountain, and Millette. Miller now coming down way out on top, right wing. Back out on top to White Mountain, ball being reversed. Braves in his own defense, and that ball is thrown away. That is number 12, Scares the Hawk with the turnover. Braves are going to need a few of those and then convert those into baskets on the opposite end. Keelani Johnson taking the point, being met by Scares the Hawk. Man to man defense. And Keelani goes back after the ball as it was tipped across mid court. Anderson Vite looking for help, and she nearly throws the ball away, looking for Buffalo Halfred. Ball inbounded to Anderson Vite, and she finds a lane too strong. Board controlled by White Mountain. Getting it over to Miller. Miller quickly down court. He's met by a defender, but not being able to stop her. Miller with an easy bucket. Kehlani Johnson now moving again, working against, scares the Hawk over to Knife. Ball ends up with uh, Gero back to Anderson Vite, and she's going to be fouled, shooting a pair. So Ariana Anderson Vite shooting two more free throws. She is two for five currently. That foul goes against number 20 of the Mustangs, and that is White Mountain picking up her second personal. Six team foul against the Mustangs. And good free throw there by Anderson Wright. She is at 50 50, three out of six. She get another opportunity here. Lead is down to 11. And that's going to be actually in call a violation. And Gero looked like she was in there too soon. So back to a 10 point lead 32 42. Miller, right side. Goes up, and that's going to be a charge against Miller. Miller picking up her fourth personal, which could be a big issue, but you got to remember they do have Archambault on the bench, and uh, as far as I've seen, Archambault is a pretty strong guard, and as I say that, Archambault comes into the game. I think you got a little bit more finesse, I think, with uh, number zero, Miller, but you get a lot more speed with the Jets of Archambault when she's in there. Ball down, nice pass to Lania Garrow, and she gets an easy bucket off the assist from Johnson. Still, now it's down to eight point ball game. Left wing over to Scares Hawk. Scares Hawk out on top to Archambault. Archambault looking for somewhere to go. Scares Hawk back out on top to White Mountain. Opposite side to Millette. Millette way outside into Archambault. Fake three pointer. Archambault drives the lane, bounce pass. He is controlled by White Mountain, opposite side, three pointer up. No good, air ball. Ball controlled by Knife. Knife over to Gero, and Knife throws it away. Actually, that was Gero that threw that away. Archambault, three pointer up, no good, rebound. Scares a Hawk, no good. Rebound, White Mountain. Back out to Millet, three pointer on the way, no good. Rebound off to Anderson White, controlled by the Braves. Three opportunities, three misses for the Mustangs on that possession. Now we have Keani Johnson looking for somewhere to go. She pulls up, actually throws the Blues as the handle. Ball ends up in the hands of Millette. Millette quickly working against Buffalo Alfred. Behind the back, and that's going to be a travel. <laughs> it would have been a nice move if she put up the shot. She went behind the back as she went up, but she got caught and landed with the ball behind her. And at the 5.47 mark, uh, Scares the Hawk, coach of the Mustangs, wants a timeout. Braves have it down to an eight-point lead. And we do have a couple substitutions into the game. We'll see how this goes as we finish with the last 5.47 on the clock.
leading scorer for the Mustangs is Millette with 10 points. And for the Braves, it is the sophomore Johnson with 10 points. We see LeBeau return to the game with five fouls. We have Garrow and Knife. And we have Tiana Johnson as well as Keilani Johnson. Again, Tiana had fits working against Scares the Hawk at this time. Uh, Keilani brings the ball down as she crosses midcourt. Backdoor pass, layup to Knife, and Knife blows the point blank layup. That was one of the nice looking passes we've seen all night, and the layup was missed. Marshambo out on top again, eight point lead for the Mustangs. Millette's runner is going to be no good, and board cleared up by Knife. Knife makes up for the mistake by getting the board down the other end. And that is LeBeau throwing the ball, the ball, LeBeau throwing the ball away. But Archambeau returns the favor, so the Braves get it back. Again, patience, I think, is going to go a long ways here if they take their time and make the right passes. Uh, Askelani made that nice pass the last time. It's just a matter of cashing in on those passes. Pass inside to Guerrero, and ball tipped out of bounds by White Mountain. Five minutes to go, and we've got an eight-point ball game here. Shining Butte trailing the Mustangs of McLaughlin. Keelani Johnson to Garrow. Garrow's going to be fouled by White Mountain. Fouls are starting to add up a little bit. And that would be the ninth team foul against the Mustangs. So the Braves have that working in their favor is the double bonus. Uh, at the line, we're going to see Juanita Garrow, and she is two for four from the free throw line. And she's going to get two here. She hits the first one down to a seven point ball game. Second opportunity is up and too strong. Uh, strong rebound by LeBeau. And LeBeau has the ball go off the black. Number 25, Archambeau. Good rebound by LeBeau. And Braves have the possession and they cut that lead down to seven. Johnson set to inbound now. And there he is, she is right in front again is Guerrero. Guerrero has the ball taken away by White Mountain. No pump fake, no move, just handed it over. So now comes Millette opposite way down to the corner over to Yellow Earrings, back to White Mountain, reversed opposite side. Scares Hawk drives baseline, decides against it over to Archambault. Archambault back on top, working against the zone defense. And out top, White Mountain rebounding, opposite side. Archambault, again, you have Scares Hawk, three pointer is up, strong. Knife with the rebound, getting it over to Ann, uh, Johnson. Johnson down, drives the lane, and she should have been fouled. Nothing called there. And the ball's run back in ball, inbounds, controlled by Archambault. And with the breakaway layup will be number 10, cashing in will be Yellow Earrings. She's got eight in the ball game. Lead is back up to nine with four minutes to go. And that is Johnson out on top. Over to Kehlani. Kehlani looking for somewhere to go. Opposite side to LeBeau. And LeBeau is going to be fouled. Foul will go against Archambault. Archambault's third personal. And that will be the ninth team foul. So that's going to be the bonus for LeBeau. LeBeau's been to the line. She made one out of two. And this is going to be the actual bonus. So you got to make the first to make the second. We have three substitutions coming into the game. Number 14, Brown Otter, as well as number 24, Chase and... Uh, Holly Miller back into the game for the Mustangs, along with White Mountain and Millette. LeBeau is set for the free throw now. It's up, in and out, no good, controlled. And that is controlled by Chase over to Miller. Braves are in the zone defense, and you got to think they got to come out of that defense sooner or later. Again, they are trailing. Three-pointer up, and no good by Miller. Rebound controlled by Knife. Knife down to Tiana Johnson. Johnson goes up and going to have the layup. Tiana Johnson with a breakaway layup. She's got nine in the ball game. Down to a seven-point lead. Millette out on top. Spin move. Runner's going to be no good, but she's going to be fouled. And that's going to be a baseline. Or, um, yeah, the baseline inbounds. Fourth team foul. That foul goes against Johnson. Keone Johnson. Her second personal. Actually, third personal on Johnson. Set to inbound the ball is Chase. 
Chase gets it over to Miller, back out on top, back to Miller, three pointer is up, short. Board cleared up by Chase and her put back is no good, but she's gonna be fouled and we'll get two free throws. That foul goes against number 15 of the Braves. Jalen Knife, her first personal 15 foul. Chase's free throw is off the backboard and no good. Still a seven point ball game. 3-13 here in the fourth quarter. Chase lines up second opportunity and that one's gonna be good. One for two, up to an eight point lead for McLaughlin. Keelani Johnson, well actually uh, Tiana coming across midcourt. Screen is set, she drives up and she's gonna be blocked and fouled. And that'll be two shots and I think that foul will go against number five, Millette. Millette's third personal. And Johnson up the line to shoot a pair, that's the 10th team foul. Tiana Johnson's two for four. First free throw is good. We're back to a seven point ball game. Uh, Juanita Guerrero takes a seat and Ariana Anderson Veit back in for Cheyenne Eagle Butte. So we've got LeBeau, Knife, Johnson Johnson, Anderson Veit. Second opportunity is no good. Board cleared up by Miller. Miller down to Millette. Three minutes. Back out on top to Braves going to have to come out of this zone, whether they realize it or not at this point. Millette, three-pointer up. Air ball goes off the bounds, out of bounds, off number 14. That works in their favor. Brown Otter loses a handle on the air ball. But again, this time will evaporate pretty quick. And again, defense being a key for the Braves to get back in this one. Tiana Johnson looking for a pass inside to Anderson White. And there's the shot, and it's going to be a foul. And Anderson Veit going to the line. And that foul goes against number 24, Chase. That will be her fifth personal, so first player to fall out of the game. A very strong player on the interior. And by playing strong, she's committed five fouls. And at the line, we're going to see Anderson Veit to shoot a pair of free throws. Third quarter, she was four for four from the free throw line, but she was 0 for three in the second. So she's four for seven, and she hits that one, so she's on a roll. It's kind of what they need to be doing. It's down to a six point ball game. Uh, next free throw is no good. Strong rebound, and no advice foul by Keone Johnson, and it's gonna go the other way, and that's her fourth personal. And so, it will be it's not the bonus yet so but that is four fouls on Johnson with 230 left to go Miller drives the lane interior pass made to White Mountain White Mountain misses the shot gets her own rebound stolen by Johnson Johnson comes out of the pack and loses the handle again and opposite way now number 12 comes down scares a lot and Scaleslock has been the nightmare for Johnson in this ballgame. And that is back up to an eight-point lead. Johnson now three-point range fires, and she's going to be fouled. Foul will go against number five, Millette. Millette picking up her fourth personal, and we're over the double bonus, but I think that's going to be three free throws for Tiana Johnson. So an opportunity to make up for... The steal at half court by Scares the Hawk. She'll get three opportunities here. First one is no good. Second one is good for Johnson. That lead is cut down to seven. Substitution made and taking a seat is number 14. Brown Honor and Yellow Irons is back into the game. Next free throw is too strong. Jalen Knife battling for the rebound, but coming away with that is Miller. 
Miller gets it over to the Scareshawk. Scareshawk crossing midcourt. Uh, Braves can't sit in this zone. It basically is eating up the clock. Seven point lead and the clock is being eaten away. <laughs> um, side pass, uh, Scareshawk, mid range jump shot is good. Nine point ball game, three possession ball game if you hit three threes. Minute and a half to go. Kehlani Johnson, three pointer up, no good, too strong. And ball is lost, but controlled by Millette. Quickly down to uh, number zero is Miller. Miller getting the bucket there. And that may have more than likely put the ball game out of reach. 11 point lead. LeBeau throws the ball away and controlled by White Mountain. 11 point lead. McLaughlin on the attack. Stolen by Johnson. Johnson crossing midcourt now. And let's see, she goes up with a runner and rebound comes off to Millette. Johnson comes in and scoops it away. Cross court pass to Knife. Knife's bank shot is too strong. And rebound comes off to Miller. And Kilani Johnson steals the ball, gets it over to LeBeau. LeBeau makes the layup. Down the court comes Millette. And Millette actually has the ball stolen by Knife. Knife down to LeBeau. LeBeau down to Johnson who didn't get back on defense and Johnson with the bucket. So it's down to a seven point ball game but like I said earlier the clock was eaten away when they allowed them to pass outside. So 23 seconds on the clock. And unless you get some very quick baskets it's pretty tough to get back in at the high school level without the clock stopping. So. Hopefully, uh, again, the Braves pressure defense can make some turnovers, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Again, the story of the first half, again, was a uh, 21-26 five-point lead. And right now it's a seven-point lead here in the fourth quarter. Again, I think uh, Scareshawk's kind of been the standout. She's got 13 in the game, 10 for Millette. For the Braves, uh, Tiana Johnson had seven in the third quarter, up to the seventh third quarter. She's got 13 in the game. So there's Scareshawk with the ball. Back out to Millette, and they're just going to hold it. And there's a foul. Johnson will fall out with 12 seconds on the clock. Pretty decent game for Johnson. She did an excellent job. I think kind of things kind of went south when she was substituted out. She was able to handle that pressure, bringing the ball down and finding the right open people. But at the same time, again, uh, Tiana Johnson did an excellent job up to a point. At the line, we see number five, Millette. Millette shooting free throws. Millette, first free throw is good. She's got 11 in the ball game. Up to an eight-point lead for McLaughlin. Second opportunity by Millette is good. And LeBeau comes down now. Get it, Tiana Johnson, three-pointer up, too strong. Rebound goes off the Braves. <laughs> uh, Buffalo Hafford trying to get uh, the ball to switch directions magically and it didn't happen. Possession to McLaughlin. Five seconds on the clock, getting it down to Millette. Millette at the buzzer and no good. So that ends the game. Shining to beat Braves, 44. The McLaughlin Mustangs 53, and that is a nine-point loss. Uh, real quick, scoring for you. Holly Miller finishes the game with six. Reagan Yellow Earrings finishes with eight. Scares the Hog didn't score in the first half. In the second half, she added 13. Uh, for me, that would be part of the game. She did an excellent job on defense. Uh, Chase finishes with five. White Mountain, not a factor with two. And those were early on in the first quarter. Did not score in the second half, as the same with our shamble finished with five, all that coming in the first quarter. And then Millette, Millette had a big second quarter. She finished with seven in that second quarter. In the game, she finishes with 12. And then two points for Destiny Medicine Curl. For Shining Butte, uh, Ariana Anderson, two, four, five points. Uh, Winnie Aguero with uh, three, four, five. Alana Labo with seven. Tiana Johnson with 13. Kilani Johnson finishes with 10.
Tia Wilson with the free throw and Tommy Moran with three points. Again, final score, 44-53. Uh, McLaughlin Mustangs over Shining Butte. Thank you for tuning in to the coverage.